Hello, I'm Kevin Ripa, and welcome to another episode of My Sans 3 Minutes Max. Today I want to talk a, a little bit about forensically sound and, and what that phrase means. We hear it a lot, uh, but what does it mean? Uh, I create a forensic image of something. What does that forensic image consist of? What does it look like? Um, I'm going to talk more about what forensically sound means specifically tomorrow, but today I want to talk about some of the misuses of the term. Uh, we'll hear people talk about forensically sound images when they're talking about things like cell phones and portable devices and, and solid state hard drives and things like this. But what if you can't write block the device? What if you can't shut the device off? If I have to do a live acquisition of a hard drive, is that going to be forensically sound? What I create will be handled in a forensically sound manner. But during the creation of it, data on the computer could very well be changing before I get to the imaging process of that portion of the hard drive. Take phones, for example. Can we write block a phone? Absolutely not. Uh, is a phone acquisition forensically sound? Well, just by how a phone works, it has to be on to create the acquisition. If the phone is on, there are things being changed on it. Even if you're just sitting staring at it, if it's just a clock that's counting down, there's still files on the phone that are changing, things that are trying to communicate out, even though you have it in airplane mode. So you can't right block the phone. As you're doing the acquisition, things are changing on the device. So a good example of this would be if I take an, an acquisition of a certain cell phone and then I give it to you to take a certain acquisition of that cell phone. Are our acquisitions going to match? No, they're not. And so that shows you that obviously there was changes happening within the device during the acquisition phase. So the takeaways here are uh, you can't, it's difficult to call it a forensic acquisition if the device is live, if it's not right blocked, if it's cellular, if it's a tablet, uh, even if it's a, a solid state drive. Um, we're going to talk more tomorrow about what forensically sound specifically is and means. Uh, and so until then, uh, I'm glad you joined us today. Uh, go ahead and visit sans.org and look at the great lineup of courses that we've got. And by the way, SANS is 100% Cybercast format now. If you're waiting for live classes, you could be waiting a long time because that's not even on our radar at this point. Join me tomorrow for another episode of My SANS 3 Minutes Max.